Thanks, Adam, and hello, sellers. I'm Stu Reichenbach, eBay Senior Director of Global Shipping. It's exciting to be part of another open, and I'm thrilled to be here today to talk with you and a couple of your fellow sellers about shipping and international shipping and eBay international shipping. Uh, again, I'm thrilled uh, not to be flying solo, but to be here with two really great sellers to talk about everything about eBay international shipping. Let me introduce our two sellers. Ben, Jaron, thank you guys for being here. Before we get started, why don't we take a few minutes, introduce yourself to your fellow sellers and tell them a little bit about your business. Yeah. Ben, please. Yeah, I'm Ben. I am a full-time eBay seller, and I started that about five years ago. I am also a YouTuber and Instagrammer, Ready, Set, Resell. And on there, I teach people how to buy stuff and then flip it online for a profit from places like thrift stores, flea markets, garage sales, yard sales. Yeah. Great. And before we move on to Jaron, any personal stories or anecdotes, things you really think are exciting about selling? Yeah, I just enjoy the uh, different people that I get to sell to. I, I personally enjoy vintage clothing a lot, so I connect a lot with the vintage clothing community from all over the place, and that's a that's a great part about selling. Great. Jaron? My name is Jaron Moore, um, and I sell primarily men's clothing. Been selling full-time for about four years now. Uh, I'm on Instagram as well, Big Dreams Reselling. The name of my store is Big Dreams Reselling, and also I have a YouTube channel as well. And a personal anecdote, something you just find really interesting about, about your selling journey. So for me, I sell a lot of men's fashion to Canada, Canada of all places. For some reason, they like my stuff. Wonderful. All right. Good, good, good. Guys, thanks for that. Um, let's get into the world of international shipping. Uh, I think, as you know, and, and for all of our sellers out there, we introduced eBay international shipping a little over a year ago. Uh, and we're going to talk about that today. Before we do, Tell us a little bit about your history of selling internationally and before eBay international shipping. What was that process like to sell and ship? Ben, let's go ahead and start with you. Yeah, so I've been selling internationally pretty much since I started on eBay. Uh, I noticed that it would open up my demographics to a wider range of buyers out there. Everybody in the world needs clothing and stuff and yep. wants toys and stuff if you're a collector. So I figured right away I might as well open up to as broad an audience as I can. So I started with the um, eBay global shipping program, and then I've just carried through the iterations to now eBay international shipping. Great. Thanks. Jared? And so my story is similar to Ben's. Um, I knew that I needed as much exposure in the beginning, and for me, I knew the only way to do that was for me to be global. And so I enrolled in the global shipping program, and then eBay international standard delivery, and then now eBay international shipping. Uh, so I'm loving all of the, the shipping programs. Wonderful, okay. So you both had some experience with some of the other uh, shipping services that we've had in the past. Yes. Get into a little bit of the detail for me and for our sellers. What was it like to list an item with those services and kind of what it's like now with eBay international shipping? So uh, when I started out, you had to do, you had to really pay attention to your item specifics, like the weight and dimensions of the parcels that are going out, because that can really affect the pricing for the buyer. And when I first started, that was something that was really a big question asked by buyers. Now eBay handles a lot of that stuff. And uh, another big thing from back then was kind of the whole getting it to the person. I had to fill out custom forms. I had to really look right. at what I needed to do to get it to that other country. And now eBay takes care of most of that. Okay, good. And so for me, it was negotiating rates. So no longer do I have to negotiate the rates. It's more of a hands-off approach. Um, and then also for a lot of my, my listings, I had exclusions set up. So yeah. I didn't want to ship to a specific country for whatever reason. Uh, but now that is no longer the case. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Perfect. So. One of the things that we've tried to do with eBay International Shipping is take care of all of those things on behalf of our sellers. You focus on selling, we deal with the international shipping. So we've tried to make it as easy as listing and selling shipping domestically. And it sounds like, it sounds like that's the case. One thing that you just mentioned, Jaron, we do give you the opportunity though to exclude countries mm -hmm. in eBay International Shipping if you choose to. If there's something sure. you know about your item just for some reason, you still have the ability to Absolutely. go ahead and do that. Absolutely. Okay, great. Uh, tell me a little bit more about uh, 
interaction with international customers with eBay International Shipping? What have you seen in that space now that we've had some transactions and you've had with EIS, eBay International Shipping? Yeah. So I don't have to interact with the customers as much as I used to. I used to get a lot of questions, like I said, about the price of the shipping and stuff like that. So I've noticed my interaction with customers has kind of gone down as far as messaging and stuff goes. And I haven't really had any problems in, in having to communicate with them Great. recently. Okay, thanks, Ben. Jaren? So Stuart, far less communication on my end, more time for me to spend on the business. That's what I've noticed. Just Wonderful. Less interaction. And, and we're not restricting communication no, with your buyers. Once you get it to our domestic hub, we ship on your behalf. We wanna take care of all those questions that your buyer might have on where their shipment is, anything related to customs, duties and taxes, regulatory things and those concerns. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right on. Okay, how about returns? I brought that up. Have you had an experience with returns in eBay international shipping? Not since the international shipping uh, program took over. I haven't had any returns. I haven't had to handle anything on my end. eBay's taking care of everything. Okay. Same thing for me, no international returns, which has been a breath of fresh air. Yes, it is. Wonderful. Good, well, that makes returns really easy. Yeah. If you don't have any returns, yeah. it makes Absolutely. it even easier. Absolutely. Uh, just for, our, for our, our selling audience that's listening, uh, with eBay International Shipping, returns are handled by eBay. Mm -hmm. uh, once you get your item, once it's sold to our domestic hub, uh, and we ship to the buyer if a return is necessary, eBay considers that sale final, mm -hmm. and we deal with all the returns on behalf of the sellers. Yes. Uh, great. Um, beyond that, uh, now that we've got an interaction and a, and a transaction taking place with eBay International Shipping, anything else uh, along that journey, kind of post-transaction, you'd like to talk about? Um, so for me, once it leaves my office and ships domestically, it pretty much becomes a domestic shipment for me. Anything that is going internationally, once it hits that domestic hub, and it goes out, I'm pretty much hands off, which I absolutely love. So once once it's out of my hands, it's out of my mind, basically. Great, 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 great. Thanks, Ben. Let's let's turn the, the conversation a little bit to this, this really complex world of regulatory uh, and compliance issues. Governments all, all around the world are doing more and more as e-commerce uh, becomes more and more prevalent to, I don't wanna say control, but to really have their hands on what's happening as, mm -hmm. as things come in and out of their countries. Uh, issues with regulatory uh, prepping and compliance matters? No, no, nope. not at all, nope. not at all. eBay handles it all yeah. for me now. Yeah. So it's, an, it's another great area of eBay international shipping. Uh, this is a complex area. We're working on your behalf to deal with the regulatory uh, and compliance issues as they, as they pop up uh, and we'll continue to do so. Great, uh, one more area that many of our sellers experience in the domestic space, combined shipping. How are you dealing with combined shipping and are you seeing it in the international space? So domestically, I have a lot of combined shipping mm -hmm. and internationally I'll get asked about that as well, uh, but obviously that hasn't come about yet, but I do want to know if that is going to occur at some point if we would, so, because I really benefit from that. Yeah, I would, I would benefit from that as well. I get the combined orders here in the US as well, but Overseas uh, don't obviously get the combined okay. shipment, so I'd love to see that come into my business Good. more and more. Good, well, that's one of the reasons I brought it up. We do hear from a lot of sellers about the capability of combined shipping in the international space. Uh, one of the great things about eBay International Shipping is we are, because it is our program and we're managing it, we're able to listen to sellers and try to adapt and grow the program. Uh, we're super thrilled with it. Combined shipping is something that we don't currently do, but yep. by the year end, we should be introducing combined shipping to eBay great. International. Yep. Awesome, <laughs> be thank great. you. Right on, great, good stuff. Okay, hey guys, thanks so much. I've asked a lot of questions. Uh, what questions might you have for me? So I, I've reached out to my uh, Instagram audience before this, and one of the big questions that I see people have is what is the big two minute answer of what, what's the difference between eBay Global Shipping Program and the current program? Okay. What's, what's changed? Yep. So we, historically, we've had the Global Shipping Program, eBay International Standard Delivery. You could self-ship internationally. Uh, we recognize all those different programs. We also saw how much more complex the world of international shipping was becoming. And so we consolidated all those programs into one, 
eBay International Shipping, and we're evolving the capabilities of that program, like returns. Returns wasn't yeah. something that any of those other programs handled. Regulatory and compliance was often something that you needed to handle as a seller. Uh, and so with eBay International Shipping, we're able to, to take care of those things on your behalf and continue to evolve the program. Yeah. Anything else comes to mind? Questions? So for me, Stuart, um, like whenever I have a domestic order and let's say the customer hasn't paid, well, I can send an invoice requesting payment. But for the international orders, if they haven't paid and I try to send out an invoice, it will not allow me to do so. Yep. Like, is there any way for you guys to change that? Yep, we're working on it. We understand that uh, is the case. Uh, and we need the sale to be final Absolutely. before your item ships to the sure. buyer. Yep. And so we need to help facilitate to make sure that sale takes place immediately. Yes. Yeah. Thanks for bringing that to our attention. Okay, we're just about on time. Been a great conversation. Thank you for um, sharing your experience uh, to date with eBay International Shipping. Let me ask you this question though. How has this impacted sales? Would, uh, w do you feel it? Do you see it? I feel like I have. Uh, I feel like since EI started, I've, I've seen a bit of an increase in my, in my sales. I would say for me, it's been kind of a, a slower, steadier, incremental increase, but I've definitely noticed uh, some, some changes. Okay, good, good. So I hope you guys don't mind, but uh, I did a little checking in the background. Um, ben, you're up 5X since awesome. you were, from a transaction <laughs> awesome. basis, awesome. once yeah, you were brought awesome. into awesome. eBay International Shipping. Jaron, you're up 2X. You got to catch up to him. I'll take All it, right? I'll take it. Uh, and so we're thrilled with that. And yeah. you know, the thing I want to call out, this isn't about us and eBay international shipping alone. It's about all the work you're doing as sellers, but our job is to create great solutions that help you in your sales Absolutely. journey and being great sellers. And we think that EIS is a great complement to what you're doing. So re really great stuff. Thrilled yeah, for you guys. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hey guys, can't thank you enough uh, for being here. Uh, appreciate everything you do with sellers. Keep the feedback coming uh, even after today on eBay international shipping. Uh, and thank you guys so much for joining us here at Open. Thank you for having us. Uh, absolutely, guys. Yeah, uh, and thanks to everyone out there listening in. Um, I hope that Adam's session and this conversation with Ben and Jaron were both helpful and informative and hopefully a little bit of fun. Yeah. Great to hear some of your personal <laughs> stories. Absolutely. Uh, but sellers, if you still have questions about shipping, uh, we have two more sessions at Open plus a booth in the Expo Hall. So thanks again for today. We appreciate everyone attending eBay Open 2023. Thanks.